What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm gonna be talking more about the Shamrock and Awe event because a lot of people are still very very upset over how the event was handled for this year mainly because there is no black market tier stream and instead we got the Shamrock and Awe supply drop bundle and that's it so if you want every item for the event then you do gotta pay $20 or 2,000 COD points However, I still feel that we are going to be getting a black market tier stream sometime later this week, hopefully. And before everybody flips out, just hear me out for a second because I too was pretty damn pissed off. But then I realized that I really don't think that Treyarch would only add in a few in-game easter eggs and a supply drop bundle. Now since yesterday, the Shamrock and All supply drop bundle has been changed to read luck of the Irish. And I think that was done to clear up any confusion because like I said I really didn't think buying this bundle was the only way players can quote-unquote participate in the event there just has to be something more here now also when Shamrock and all went live PlayStation tweeted out this trailer showcasing some of the emotes that are not in the supply drop bundle or in reserves right now so again I think it's reasonable to believe that we are gonna be seeing a tier stream coming out sometime later this week hopefully now this does go without saying that the devs should have just been upfront in the patch notes or just on Twitter and said hey we're not going to be having a tier stream out on the same day the Shamrock and event is supposed to go live because you know so many people were just very very upset and yeah I mean I, I too was a very pissed off as well but then I put two and two together and then after seeing the name change for the bundle um, my suspicions were just you know very much more raised up because I just don't think the devs are going to be only adding a supply job bundle for an event that is one of the most popular year round. Plus, there really isn't much at all compared to the previous COD games in terms of the Shamrock and All event. Um, World War II got so, so much. You know, the headquarters was all decked out for St. Patrick's Day. There were new guns, new weapon charms, camos, etc. Um, Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, both those games also had a lot of stuff compared to Black Ops 4. So I really just don't think we're only going to be getting a bundle for this year. And so yeah, that's where I'm at with the event right now. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If those items though that PlayStation tweeted out are going to be available in reserves only, then just prepare for me to unleash my anger and frustration all out on Activision and Treyarch because um, that would totally be a scummy thing to do. Um, but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens guys so uh, that's where I'm at right now with the Shamrock and all event now another thing I want to talk about is the replacer skin possibly coming to blackout battle royale and this image was posted over on reddit by user I can't even really pronounce his name that well but it's fu453 fu453 um, but he again he posted this image over on uh, the Black Ops 4 subreddit and it's the replacer skin in like the little in-game um, main menu hub screen so hopefully this skin isn't only going to be available in reserve cases I would love to see it given out to the Black Ops pass holders or even make it unlockable with an in-game item we have to find and complete challenges for either way though I'm excited to see the replacer actually be playable in the Call of Duty universe now and that could also open up doors for maybe Avenge Sevenfold, Marshawn Lynch, or other famous people that were involved with the making of the Black Ops universe. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Please tell me your thoughts about all this down below in the comments. Again, I think it's reasonable to believe that we are going to be getting a supply drop stream for the Shamrock and All event. Um, but again, I really want to know what you guys have to say about this down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Until next time, I'll see you all later.